Gemini. Welcome. Give me a minute. I apologize. I just want to make sure the camera's straight. I hope you're all doing amazing. This is going to be your new moon in Taurus reading, which is occurring on the 19th, around 11.55 in the morning. I may be off like a minute or two. This is how it's going to affect your sign. Talking comes easily to you. You're a Mercury ruled sign, after all. Communication is your forte. But this new moon in your 12th house of the subconscious is calling for silence and stillness. You know that feeling of awkward silence and the desire to rush in to fill it. The new moon in May 2023 is asking you to sit in that moment, even if there is some initial discomfort. What can you learn and discover about yourself when you do less? Perhaps there is a message for you that you can still be loved and accepted, even if you're not entertaining. Prioritize self-care. There's more than one way to be heard. So it's basically focusing on yourself. Focusing on yourself and allow people to bring communication or to bring themselves to you. All right, let's see what messages need to come out. For those of you that are new, I'm so grateful you're here. Go ahead and subscribe, and by doing so, you can take part in the monthly giveaways that I offer. It's always two or more readings, free readings that I offer. Around the holidays, it's usually um, monetary gift cards. So you just need to be a subscriber and leave a Zodiac emoji in the comment section of each reading that you view of mine from now until the end of May. It could be your Zodiac sign, maybe your rising moon and Venus also, someone you're thinking about, but just allowing me to know letting me know that you're interested in these free readings. At the end of the month, I will choose two people to receive those 15 to 30 minute readings. Reach out to you through YouTube initially. So at the end of the month, I will let you, I'll remind you and let you um, know that I've sent out the notifications to those people and to be checking your messages. All right. Oh, I wanted to come right out. Let's see if it does. For my Geminis. All right, two came out. We're going to take them. The end of a tough cycle approaches. New moon in Capricorn. Something coming to an end. A closing of a tough cycle chapter. Believe in the impossible. Blue moon. I feel like third eye being awakened. I feel like something coming to light. Something that you may never thought would have been possible. Alright. For my Gemini, it's during this new moon in Taurus. Alright, thorns. Yeah, see, there's that light starting to shine in. The end of a tough cycle. So this is definitely meant for some of you. 31, which is a 4. You know how I feel about 4s. Um, I feel like you're not alone. You are being divinely guided and you're on the right path. It says weathering the challenges ahead will bring in a new and positive future. All right, let's see what that is about. just heard Harry Potter for some reason. Some of you may be into Harry Potter. Maybe a tough cycle with someone that it was your thing to watch Harry Potter with. I don't know. I just heard Harry Potter. All right. Gemini's energy in the current situation. Thank you. The eight of coins focusing on yourself. Allowing people to come towards you. Doing something in this in this time frame, during this energy, that brings you happiness. Maybe even putting extra hours in at work. Um, but being very focused on something. You might even decide to take like a new class. Maybe a cooking class. Maybe um, a travel agent class. Something that you might do that... Maybe even real estate, you know, I always thought like I could be a travel agent on the side or start my real estate. Not that a travel agent is something on the side. I'm 
I'm just saying something that you've wanted to do for yourself and putting dedication into that. Have to be careful with what I say because somebody always corrects me. But the Eight of Coins is being very dedicated and focused on yourself. Like I said, allowing people to come towards you. And I do feel, look at this, for some of you it may be about a relationship. Could be an ending of a breakup. An ending of maybe separation if you were married. And in separation, like the ending of the separation, trying to work things out. This is, I'm going to date myself by saying this. I just heard Stevie B and Spring Love. For those of you that don't, don't know Stevie B, go ahead and look that song up. So I definitely feel that there might be a chance for you and someone. Okay. The energy for Gemini during this new moon into two of wands. So I do feel you're going to have multiple possibilities coming your way. You do. It's like you're putting a plan in motion and you're moving forward. I feel that there are going to be adjacent possibilities um, coming your way, maybe needing to make a decision. But you are on the right path and you are moving forward. And the future following this new moon. All right, it did fall down, so give me one second while I get it. Ace of Wands, passionate breakthrough, going forward, like I said, towards something that you have passion for. It may be a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, we also have earth energy here. Bottom of the deck is that Empress, that air energy. You are making yourself the focus during this new moon in Taurus. You're shining from the inside out. You're making decisions based on what's going to make you happy and you're glowing because of that. You're definitely being noticed. And remember, it does say believe in the impossible. So we will see what is coming towards you. Please clarify the eight of coins. I'm really starting to feel that you made yourself the priority. It maybe maybe went silent on someone. Could have Earth also in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, I feel like they've been making their way towards you, and I do feel it's someone that you've already dealt with. Because when the two of wands came out, I did notice at the bottom of the deck the six of cups was there. So I do feel it's someone who's been making a plan, like strategizing on how they were going to come towards you. I do feel that they've worked on themselves along their journey towards you. And it's like they don't know how you're going to take the communication. But it's almost like they don't really don't give a crap anymore. They're coming towards you anyway. It is what it is. It's like they all they also need to fig find out for themselves, are you willing to allow them back in or not? All right. King of Wands. Yeah, for some of you, it's definitely a fire sign. I feel like they have fire and earth in their chart. But it's like that light bulb has gone off. It's now that they've seen the light. You moved forward. You saw your light. You know, you started to look at things from a different perspective. And if you're... You know, if you're like, oh, you know, I really haven't really moved forward. You're going to find that energy to move forward during this new moon. But someone who's walked away from you, that light bulb is going off in their mind. All right, Spirit, what else for Gemini during this new moon in Taurus? With the Seven of Swords, I'm not really getting um, lies or deceit. I'm getting more so that, see how that light is shining down on this person? 
where it was dark, where it was snowy, you know, where it's like the light sh is shining down on them. I feel with the hangman here and the seven of swords, it's like, you know what? Gemini really did mean that much to me. What was I thinking? They might have just been quick to exit. But it's the ending of that cycle. Could be a younger earth sign with strong fire in their chart. Yeah, see, they're missing you. See how that I feel that you've also been thinking about them, Gemini. And it's like there's going to be growth within the situation. The offer is going to come in. But I am getting strong earth. So you may know them as Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Or you may know them as Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. It may be somebody that you really know deeply and all their placements. I remember I went on like a second or third date with someone and it was it was going to be the strawberry moon and I must have said I'm really excited for tonight I, I can't wait to see the strawberry moon and he literally said you're not one of those quacks are you and I thought hmm well you're getting blocked as soon as you drop me off like you know so unless you really know this person they might have fire and earth in their chart but yeah, I was one of those quacks, so he did get blocked. Yeah, the Empress, twice. You, you were definitely glowing, Gemini. Taking care of yourself. Moving forward with what you feel is a wish fulfillment. Three of Pentacles here. For those of you in terms of love that this is going to be a brand new cycle and an ending of a tough chapter, I feel they want to come towards you and they see long term. With the Three of Pentacles, it's almost like they think about growing old with you. But for others of you, I feel like it's something coming towards you like a job offer or, um, you know, someone who sees how hard you've been trying at work sees your skills and they have an offer to give you because how you know you're staying focused on yourself and what's going to bring you happiness and like it's an offer to you know move you even further along down your path that's going to bring you increased confidence you know all right final message spirit for my gemini's yeah King of Wands. For some of you, it's definitely somebody coming in. Um, they could be an, their own entrepreneur. They could be a boss, but very strong leader. You find them very sexy. Um, you know, it's like that person that's just like, oh, when you look at them, it's, they do it for you, you know, and it is an ending of a tough cycle for you. However, this plays out in your life. But I do feel it's someone, com communication coming from someone that you didn't expect to hear from. Believe in the impossible. You could have ended so, it could have been such a hard ending. It could be months, it could be a year, a little bit more, you know. With the Knight of Pentacles, they could have been taking their time to get to you. But I do, I really feel like it brought you, it brought you anxiety and stress. Almost like it was very hard for you to bounce back. I'm telling you, they might even come towards you and bring in communication. And you might say, well, you know, thank you. Thank you for finally bringing this to, to my attention. I'm glad that you did care for me. But I'm pretty much good now. Yeah, see? Seeing through the facade. Being aware, being very observant. Secrets being lifted. Somebody's got a confession and it is divinely guided. This is a twist of fate in your favor, whether it be about business or love. A twist of fate. You taking care of yourself is that catalyst 
that gets this person moving to communicate with you. You focusing on yourself and emotionally being unavailable to people is what gets this person moving a little bit quicker to come towards you. All right, what else for my... Yeah, see, exactly what I just said. And this wanted to pop out also. Exactly what I just said. You removing things out of your life that you did not... I'm telling you, I do feel it's a good amount of time that you've heard from this person. You did a quick cleanup of your life, of your energy. And there comes that negotiation, that communication. 11-12. Followed by this phoenix rising. And what brings... What I get from this saying this is the empress twice being here the transformation within yourself is the catalyst that brings this person rushing towards you it also could be for like i said for some of you about a job offer all right affirmations for my gemini's touring this new moon in taurus all right, look at this. Clarity. Rubbing that lamp. Nine of Cups. Wish fulfillment. You might have thought during a hard ending of a cycle, a breakup, or, you know, maybe even losing a job where you where you thought about what you really wanted. Oh, I would really love for this person to just reach out to me. Tell me that they're sorry. Tell me that they love me. You're getting that clarity. Depends where you're at. You may not want to hear from them anymore. With the Phoenix rising, you might be a completely different person. With all this healing that you've allowed yourself to go through, my light is contagious. You're bringing this, like I said, that catalyst. But with you healing, you may be wanting different things than you had intentionally put out there. Antisocial. I find comfort in my own solitude. And that's okay. Sometimes that's when you receive the most amazing messages from your spirit guides is when you're alone and taking some time out. Remember, happy, my energy is contagious, and I find comfort in my own solitude. Say those things to yourself every day during this new moon energy. All right, final message from spirit, and then Scrabble tiles. I mean... Shuffle through the bottom part. See if anything else needs to come out. All right. First one. Archangel Jeremiel. Angel of symbols and dreams. Looking for a sign. All right. What do we have here? Remember I said 11 and 12. Increasing energy. We have 333. Three, three. We have 55 five here. 333551112. We have 789. Like I said, you're increasing your vibration, bringing in these blessings. All right, we have when you feel stuck and need guidance, ask me for dreams to give you clarity on what course of action to take. Amethyst energy, which came out twice here. That said, within a month, you're going to be receiving this blessing and looking for a sign. So look for synchronicities. Also look for feathers. With the phoenix rising, the birds with communication, and this owl, definitely look for feathers. Angel of hail, fire, and spellbinding. Good. It's okay, baby. We have... I will cover you with fiery wings of protection and make you immune to any kind of evil that comes your way. 2-2. Two, two. There's synchronicity right there. We have, um, we have the hanged man and we have Virgo here. So very well could be a Virgo that you're dealing with. We have Virgo, Libra, Leo. But like I said, we have earth energy and fire energy, so take what resonates. Earth energy, fire energy. I'm going to take air as yours, but you could also be dealing with an air sign. L, I, O, X, 
W A T B Y R E N all right, Gemini, let me know how it resonates. Leave that zodiac emoji down below in the comment section, letting me know that you're interested. Please go ahead and subscribe if you're just finding my channel for the first time. And um, the link to my Etsy shop is down below in the description box of every reading. Just need to click on that and then head over to there, see what I have to offer. There are some that are sold out because I still need to get caught up on readings, but I don't want to put it on vacation mode. So I'm just trying to like control the volume of readings that come in at one time. Um, if there's something that's sold out, send me a message letting me know it's sold out and that you're interested. Um, you can contact me right through my Etsy shop and I will be back for the weekend readings. So much love and light, Gemini.